about the other. You parked in middle. You in my hands. I'll bite the middle. I can't take this any longer. What is it that you can't take anymore? What is it? Cosmos, I'm dying in silence. I'm dying. I want to feel like a woman. I want to feel like a real woman. Oh, am I not a woman? Am I not one? Why don't we just discuss this later? Let's not go over this thing again. I'm so tired. We can always talk about it later. Cosmos, I am your wife. I am your wife. I have every right to know everything. Is that why you sneaked into my bedroom? Why do you always sneak around? Why do you always break into my privacy? Privacy? What are you talking about for God's sake? I, I am your wife. This is two weeks after our wedding and you have never touched me. Not even for once. You have never even touched me ever since I met you, Cosmos. Why? Why, Cosmos? What is the problem? Tell me. This is the wrongest time to talk about this. We can always talk about it later. I am tired now. We'll talk about it. All this will change soon. I promise you. Baby, look at me. Ever since we have never laid on the same bed. We've never laid on this bed. You have never even eaten my food for once. You always go outside to eat. Why? Vicky, I understand exactly how you feel, okay? No, you don't. But I will explain it to you in due course. Please. That is what you always say. I will. That is all, all you say in due time, Wayne. Because if there's anything you're hiding, you can tell me. Oh, oh are, are, are you? Because you, you, you're not important. Are you? I said to you that I will explain to you in due course. No, you can't. Please. Okay. What about you not eating my food? Why? What about it? Listen, if there is any problem, you can tell me. Oh, are you... <laughs> Cosmos? Are you involved in any in any set of secret accord? Money, Vicky. Hey, hey, Vicky, Vicky, listen to me, Vicky. You see, the fact that I allowed you into my bedroom for a few minutes doesn't mean that I'm stupid. Okay. 
So, as it seems, you have absolutely nothing serious to talk about. So why don't you get out of my bedroom, as in right now? Get out, Vicky. Who was that? I've seen that guy drop you off like two times already. You need to know this. The guys in this neighborhood are no good. They're not. These guys are he goats. You're growing. You're all grown now. You, you're a woman already. Okay, you have to be very careful what you do with your life. Are you serious? Do you understand what I'm saying? You have to be very careful. So what you're going to do now, you are going to make me a promise that this thing that I just saw is not going to happen again. It's not going to be again. Yes, you're going to make me. Are you going to make the promise or not? Darling, did you guys enjoy yourselves? Yeah. You had fun? Yes. For real? Yes. Yes! Okay, I'll do what you guys should okay? Hey! <laughs> I, I don't understand. I don't get it. What's what, what, what's the meaning of all this? And what are you talking about? Why is there no food in this house? Do you know you're such a fool? Were you expecting to see food in the house? And why not? There's money to take care of that. I, I leave nothing less than 100,000 naira every day for upkeep. Will you shut up? Do I look like your house girl? Or do you think I was joking when I said I can no longer render such services? Wait, wait, Kemi. Is it that I did not marry you properly? Are you not my wife? You know, you don't deserve to be anyone's husband. Do you know what you do? What you deserve is To be humiliated, tortured, and killed. And that is what you will get. Food, my fault. But you know, I don't I honestly do not understand. What? Why did you give me that look? Look, it's your life. You can live it the way you like. After all, you're a very rich man. You, you, you just don't get tired of confrontation. Mary, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Go ahead. After all, this is not the first time you've been beating me. And you are the first man that I've ever seen still beating his wife. For your information, I don't beat my wife. I discipline my wife. I try my very best to tame her. Because even the Bible says that if a tongue is not tamed, it could set the entire body on fire. And this is what I'm trying to work on you for. If I don't tame you, Mary, I will come back one day and my house will be on fire. Preach on, Pastor. Preach on. Come, easy. Why are you so anxious to divorce me? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> so you can have your precious time with your dear Ify. Right? You are talking rubbish. No, you are talking nonsense. Okay, how many times have I asked you to leave me alone? The last time, how much did I give you? I gave you a check of five million naira. And I said, take, get away and just leave me alone. You refused. Okay, now, what do you want now? Do you want me to double it? If you want me to double it, I will double it, even quadruple it, so that you can just leave me in peace. I'm tired of this nonsense now. This is getting too much. Why do you really want me to live your life so easily? Tell me. Wait! Okay, so you can have 
your so precious time with your Ify. Who will be surprised if you start sleeping with her? What? If I start doing what? What did you say? Sleeping with my daughter? Yes. My own daughter? Your daughter. You're a mad woman. You're, you're an idiot for saying that. You are an idiot. In fact, something is going wrong with your head. And they are all wrong. I said this now. I cannot see. Shut up your dirty mouth. You shameless slut. Oh, so your mother brought you into this house after so many years of being a bastard. And all you do is come into my house and dress, skip billing just to seduce your own father. To fear quoi? Before the count of three. Daddy! Wait, Daddy. wait, wait. Before Daddy. the count of three. I don't want to see you. I want you to get out of this place now. Or else what? Mary, I said before the count of three. One, maybe one, two, two and a half. Two and a half. Mary, two and a half. No, 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 leave me alone. I said leave me alone. Mary, Mary, Mary. It's okay, it's okay. Stop, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Stop it. My daddy, stop it. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Will you stop now? Will you stop? When I say shut up, you shut up. And when I don't cook, you shut up. Do you want to understand me? The secret life that you live. Do you want to My son will make a wonderful couple. He has told us so many good things and wonderful things about you. Thank you very much, Ma. Mm -hmm. um, my daughter, you're welcome. What do you say is your occupation? Oh, oh um, I'm a banker, sir. Yes, I'm an assistant manager of a person to a branch. And it's a standard trust bank, Ma. That's interesting. Um, uh, are you sure you'll be able to have enough time to be a good wife to my son? My husband and my home comes first. Yes, and I've created how to, time on how to manage my home and my work. So it's, well, like, it's actually, not going to be a problem. Mm, mm -hmm. She, Dad, she, she's done that already. So we've talked it out. Yes. There's no problem about it. Uh, coming to you not know, having problem and working things out, um, it simply means that um, you have worked out a wedding date or something. Have you done that? Mm, uh, no, not quite because, uh, well, uh, we, we're still searching for the best date, so it's, it's, uh, it's still a, uh, you know... Uh, Why? Is it about money? Well, um, that it's it's about um, it's, actually it's, it's about it's uh, not about money, sir. As for money, I've promised to take care of everything, so it's not really about money. No. Don't say this. How can you just be saying this kind of a thing in this house, Femi? Yeah. Don't.
Don't you know you should be man enough to stand up and take responsibility of things? Well, that's not a problem, sir. Oh, Dad, please take it easy on him. Just hold on. Hold on, come to think of it. Don't you know that it's just too early for you to place burden on your fiancé? Anyway, how about your business? The hospital projects you, you are building on. How is it going? Mom, that's not big enough for a hospital. It's a clinic. Yeah, for that project, is, <laughs> I took her there, yeah? Yeah. I took her there and yeah, it's, nearing, it's nearing completion, so... Yeah. That's all right, so you've seen it. Yes, of course I have. Okay. Well, in that case, I feel everything is okay. Um, my son, have you seen her parents? Oh, my. Oh, yeah. So her yes. parents. Yes, sir. And they, yes. In fact, they were so receptive, even yeah. much more than you guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no harm intended. <laughs> um, in that case, whenever you couple are okay, just let us know. We'll be ready. <laughs> Before you came, I was actually working on something. I was supposed to receive some members of my trade union, and by now they should be on their way. Thank you very much, sir. I have to say, don't mention it. Leave. Femi, Dad, my son. Follow me, let's say. All right, okay. All right, okay. Okay, sweetie. I have to no problem. go, Dad, yeah? It's okay. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> so, Esther. Yeah. So, you're in school, right? I'm studying criminology. Are you kidding me? Why? You want to be chasing criminals around? I want to catch them. <laughs> you know, you are so beautiful. Oh, thank you very much, darling. Right back at you. You're beautiful as well. Oh, really? <laughs> thank you. Where are you going? Going out. Going out? Dressed like this? Cosmos, there is nothing wrong with me seeking outside what I can find inside. Did you just say that to me? Vicky? Cosmos. Are you out of your mind or something? Are you going to slap me? I am not going to slap you. I'm only going to inform you and remind you that whatever you go out there to do with anyone, you must always remember there is an oath binding between us. Really? She's asking me really. Okay, really. But the oath didn't stop us from having fun with other people out there. Are you telling me that you do not know the consequences of flouting an oath that we both took? So, are you going to slap me now? I may as well do just that if you provoke me further. Cosmos, what a man I married. What a real man. I'm married. Thank you. Vicky. Okay. <laughs> Cosmos, are you involved in any in any sort of Sacred Accord? Money rich. Hey, 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 Vicky, Vicky. Listen to me, Vicky. Wait. Wait. Before I come off me, I don't want 
don't want to see you. I want you to get out of this place now. Or else what? Maybe I said before the count of three. One, maybe one, two, two and a half. When I say shut up, you shut up. And when I don't cook, you shut up. Do you understand me? Yeah, I like that I told you. I told you all. Leg is women. That it's it's about um, it's, actually it's, it's about it's uh, not about money, sir. As for money, I've promised to take care of everything, so it's not really about money. So, are you going to slap me now? I may as well do just that if you provoke me further. Cosmos, what a man I married. What a real man. I married him. Thank you. Vicky! Is that gonna take? Okay, please wait for me as soon as you're done. I'm on my way. Yes, I'm on my way. Please. I will tell them everything. Oh, all right. I will keep in contact. I'll be sweating your call. Oh, definitely. I will call. Mom, you mm. take care. All right, then. Nah. Mm. Nah. Good, okay? <laughs> no problem. Yeah, sure. Why? Right. 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 Why are you after me like this? Oh. I just, wait, 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 wait. Just hold on. I, I just hope you guys are not after us for money. What's wrong with you? Bro, you know how it is now. What's you know how it is. Yeah. Bro, I got studio session to pay. But I told you I was going to sort your studio ah, session. Yeah. Didn't I tell you that? Oh, bro, it's oh, taking too long. Point. Trust me. Trust me. Just forget about it. Okay, if you Doesn't say so. Here, Big yeah. bro. No problem. Don't worry. Um, oh, Thank sweetie, just, 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 just give me a minute, yeah? Okay. Uh, let me discuss it. Okay. Family. No problem. <laughs> okay, um, Take you guys, guys, come, come. The secret lives that we live. Do you wonder what we will risk? The secret lives that you live. Do you wonder what? I'm sure she's out there now, you know, rejoicing that she's good enough to a man. <laughs> <laughs> her husband, you know? 
Oh, please, please, please. Don't laugh out loud. She might hear us. You know? <laughs> sure, she's out there. Now, okay. You guys nailed it. It was so perfect. It was on point. It was just... Bam! Yeah. Guess what? We did not even rehearse a drama before you brought her in and everything went smoothly. In fact, she fell for it. That was a masterpiece. What are you talking about? <laughs> we have been doing this for quite a while. We've been in this game for quite a while. That's why we're professional. Alright. No, but, but it was it was great. Now listen, it's, you know, it was so awesome. Yeah, especially the fact. That aspect where um, Benga was telling him <laughs> about the hospital and then top knuckles, top knuckles. That was that was good. Yeah, because you know what, you know what, and that hospital thing you discussed about it yeah. is the same reason uh, why I'm gonna get the uh, money. Uh, <laughs> and I'm sure that's where they sent a message to your mother. Hi, babes. Yeah, what's up? Yes, it all went well, like everything went so splendidly. Yes, everybody loved me so there. I'm so freaking happy, like I'm, 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 I'm dozing off the happiness here. Yes, yeah, so, yes, yeah, so, yes, the latest bride in town, yes. Oh, he's not here, he's inside with his people, his brother and sister. Yes, I'm so freaking happy, man, I'm so freaking, freaking happy. Oh, thank God, my sister, thank God, I'm so happy. Hey darling, can I call you back? My other brother is on the line. Let me just say something briefly here because uh, I need to commend my woman, my girlfriend, Esther. Esther. Wow. You are. Uh, no, I mean, Esther is so wonderful because she didn't even reveal that. She is my girlfriend. She held it tight. She swallowed she killed it. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean I'll keep doing it. Like oh. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's great. Um, a quick one. I, I just got to run, dash out immediately. I don't want her to stay there and stop. What are you talking about? So, no, uh, guess, yeah, guess yeah. what? Um, we're gonna leave. Yeah. You leave. Okay. You leave immediately. Okay. Yeah, remove your costumes and get out. Like Pack now. it up and give it to you. Esther, she's gonna bring it home. Okay. Guys, uh, that reminds me. What about our balance? Yeah, the moon. Yeah, the moon. See, like, wait, wait, wait. Wait, let's do this job now. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, wow. Like, we might get on force. I don't give this. She was sort out. So, babe, more like sort out. Fine, I'm just coming out from Femi's house now. Yes, it went well. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, it went well. Everybody there is just freaking happy. Yes, thank you very much, brother. Yes, yes, exactly, yeah. Oh, he's not here right now. He's inside with his brother and sister. Yes, yes, no, no. <laughs> Thank you very much, brother. Yes, I'll just see more when I get home. Okay, brother, thank you. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you're actually right. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with, you know, doing a little Thanksgiving just before the action. Oh, darling, I think I'll call you back later, okay? Good to go, yeah? <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah, I'm ecstatic. I'm, I'm, I'm happy. No, 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 no. She has crossed her boundaries. If she doesn't leave my house now, let nobody blame me for murder. To fear, Akwa, go for big party. Will you cool down and listen to us? Please, eh? Okay, how, how can I, how can I cool down? When Mary had the cool guts to Mary send her sister, to send her sister to a meeting up. as important as this. What is wrong with this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! When I don't cook, you shut up. You are stupid. You that is a joke. Shut up! Shut up! Sit there! Hey, 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 shut hey, up! Hey, 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 you sit there! 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 You want to fight? You don't fight here. No! She needs to be dealt with. Easy. 
we have to be very tactical and wise about this situation here, right? Because the truth of the matter is, you know, Mary is like any other woman out there who is un unhappy in her marriage. Look, the secret of every marriage is to keep our eyes closed and shut our ears. Yeah. Look at her. Uncle Tom. Yes. Auntie. I'm with you, Johnny. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone here. The truth of the matter is that this agent here will have to leave my house right now and she will not set eyes on my children. You don't need to worry. I'm already leaving. I have my own house. I don't need this fucking place. Please go. Please go. You don't even need to leave here. Please, give me steps. Imagine. See what we're talking about. Fucking place. This is what Mary, everything about Mary is like this. Everything about Mary is very suspicious. Very suspicious. Mary, look now, look at the sisters. Yes, of course. I have taken my children to be with my sister, Dora. I'm the man, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> so I do anything that of I course, want. now, Don't Mary will never ever be able to kidnap them again. That's it. Done deal. <laughs> well, I don't know where she is, and I don't really think I, I care that much, you know. You know, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. That, I mean, the court will be the only one. Yeah, exactly. So I believe that it's only the court that will settle this madness between us. So I, I'm, I've just left it to be like that. Okay, okay. Okay, my brother, I'm going later, eh? <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Daddy? Yes, dear. Now that Mary is gone, are you going to reconcile with my mommy or you get a new wife? Your mom and I would never be together again. I mean, we don't even know each other that much. Just like you really don't know me much. Well, my baby. See, the thing is, she kept you away from me all these years, and... Yeah. Well, I wouldn't want her to come and live with us. Oh. Come to think of it, Ify, why did you all of a sudden just want to come live with me after all these years? Because I love my daddy. You love your daddy? Mm -hmm. mm. Is this a new feeling or has this feeling been there all along? But he's been there. You know, no one needs to tell me that um, I love older men because I see my dad in them. Older man. Mm -hmm. Older man. What do you mean by you love older men? Daddy, you haven't answered my question, so tell me. I get to marry new wife. Now you're being a little too evasive. Okay. Why are you asking? Nothing. I, I just want to know. Well, what I think you should know is that you need to stop wearing this kind of stuff that you wear. I mean... What uh, is wrong with what I'm wearing? You don't like them. Not that I don't like them. I just don't, I just don't want you to, you know, to kind of prove Mary right in a way. All this... <laughs> things that she says and... But Daddy, uh, I'm already used to wearing things like this. But I'm also used to setting you right. I mean, I'm used to letting you know that you have to talk right, dress right, you know, walk right. Okay, Daddy. I've had you.
got a lot more on my mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my. She has become a thorn in my flesh. It's getting worse. Honestly, I'm going to do to her what you did to your wife. Send her packing. Is that a compliment? No, 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 no. God help me, I don't kill her with my bare hands one of these days. Watch what you say. Bash. If you don't want blood on your hands by killing someone else's child, you better let her go home so you can have peace and she can have her own peace. Don't kill someone's child. Speaking of which, are you sure your wife is not going to come back with those children? My children are in a place where she will never see them again. Ever. Oh. Where are they? Where are they? Why do you want to know? Are they your children? You're always very interested in this, my children. Bash. <laughs> well, your children are my children now. <laughs> they are now with my, uh, my kid sister, my daughter. Ah, wise man. Hmm. Well, that's <laughs> what I see. <laughs> are you okay? You can see. <laughs> How about now? Nah, come on, come on, shoot him now. You can't have your boy to do like this. Yeah. I hate you. I'm friends with you. Yeah. That fine one will be the whole case. That fine one. We can have to go with it like that. Daddy, daddy. We're gonna go with this one. Your hands are very 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 very
because what you are doing is evil. What you're doing is evil before God and man. Why didn't you tell me of all this before you married me? Why? Well, Vicky, I told you this before. I'm sorry. I'm sure that uh, you'll get used to all of this with time. How am I supposed to get used to that? It's a matter of time. Matter of time. How do I get used to this evil you do? How am I supposed to get used to that? Everything for you is evil. What evil are we talking about here and now? What evil are we talking about? The evil you do in secret. Or the evil you do denying me of my womanhood. Or the evil of deceiving me into this prison you call marriage. Which of them? Where do I start? You and I know, Vicky, that I did not force you into this marriage. You walked into it yourself, so deal with it. Mm. Huh. Okay. So tell me how. How do I do it? Tell me. <laughs> Things about you, your happiness, your womanhood. You want children. I know you want children. You will have your children. How am I supposed to have children? How am I supposed to be in my own children? How? Well, the good news is that we're now in a jet age where technology does everything for everybody. So you don't have to copulate with me to have your children. There are several methods through which you can have your children. IVF, for example. IV what? Yes, of course, Paul. It's very important. No, it's not just very important, it's crucial. How long is that going to take? Okay, please wait for me as soon as you're done. I'm on my way. Yes, I'm on my way. Please. Like this. But I'm also used to setting you right. I mean, I'm used to letting you know that you have to talk right, dress right, you know, walk right. Okay, daddy. I've had you. No, 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 no. She has crossed her boundaries. If she doesn't leave my house now, let nobody blame me for murder. To fear, Akwa. God forbid, Bate. Will you cool down and listen to us? Please. Uncle, how, how can I, how can I cool down? When Mary had the cool guts to send her sister, sister to send her sister to a meeting as a What is wrong with this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! When I say shut up, what you deserve, you shut up. And when I don't cook, you shut up. You are stupid. You Easy. We have to be very toxic our wise about this situation here, right? Because the truth of the matter is, you know, Mary is like any other woman out there who is un unhappy in her marriage. Look, the secret of every marriage is to keep our eyes closed and shut our ears. Look at her. Uncle Tom. 
Auntie. I'm with you, Jerry. I'm sorry to disappoint everyone here. The truth of the matter is that this agent here will have to leave my house right now and she will not set eyes on my children. You don't need to worry. I'm already leaving. I have my own house. I don't need this fucking place. Please Back go. Home. Please go. We don't even need you here. Please go upstairs. Imagine. See what we're talking about. Please. Fucking place. This is what Please. Mary. Please. Everything Please. about Please. Mary is like this. Please. Everything Please. about Mary is very suspicious. Please. Very suspicious. Mary, look now. Look at the sister. I will tell them everything. All right. I will keep in contact. I'll be expecting your call. Oh, definitely I will call. Mom, you mm. take care. All right, then. No, no. Okay. No problem. Yeah, sure. Why? Right. Yeah. Nice. It's really nice to see you guys. Oh, you're okay. Why are you after me like that? Oh. I just wait, 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 wait. Just hold on. I, I just hope you guys are not after us for money. What's wrong with you? Bro, you know how it is now. What's you know how it is. Yeah. Bro, I got studio session to pay. But I told you I was going to sort your studio ah, session. Yeah. Didn't I tell you that? Oh, bro, it's oh, taking too long. Point. Trust me. Trust me. Just forget about it. Okay, if you Doesn't say so. Here, Big yeah. bro. No problem. Don't worry. Um, oh, Thank sweetie, just, 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 just give me a minute, yeah? Okay. Uh, let me discuss with okay. family. No problem. <laughs> I'm coming. Um, Take you care, guys, guys, come, come. The secret lives that we live. Do you wonder what we will live? The secret lives that you live. Do you wonder what? I mean, it was so perfect. It was good. I'm sure she's out there now, you know, rejoicing that she's good enough to a man. <laughs> A husband, you know. You loved me so there. I'm so freaking happy. Like I'm, 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 I'm dozing off the happiness yet. Yes, so yes, so yes. The latest bride in town. Yes. You need it. Yes, okay, I'll remove your costumes and get out. Like pack it up and give it to you. Esther, she's gonna bring it home. Okay. Guys, wait. That reminds me. What about our balance? Yeah, the moon. Yeah, the moon. Like, wait, wait, wait. 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 Let's redo this job now. Okay. Alma. She has become a thorn in my flesh. It's getting worse. Honestly, I'm going to do to her what you did to your wife. Send her packing. Is that a compliment? No, 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 no. God help me that I don't kill her with my bare hands one of these days. Watch what you say. Bash. If you don't want blood on your hands by killing someone else's child, you better let her go home. So you can have peace and she can have her own peace. Don't kill somebody's child. Speaking of which, are you sure your wife is not going to come back with those children? My children are in a place where she will never see them again. Ever. Oh. Where are they? Where are they? Why do you want to know? Are they your children? You're always very interested in this, my children. Bash. <laughs> oh, your children are my children now. I'm sorry. I'm sure that uh, you'll get used to all of this with time. How am I supposed to get used to that? It's a matter of time. Matter of time. How do I get used to this evil you do? How am I supposed to get used to that? Everything for you is evil. What evil are we talking about here and now? What evil are we talking about? The evil you do in secret. Or the evil you do denying me of my womanhood. Or the evil of deceiving me into this prison you call marriage. Which of them? Where do I start? You and I know, Vicky, that I did not force you into this marriage. You walked into it yourself, so deal with it. Mm. Huh.
wanna get high. Oh boy, I wanna get high now. See, I wanna get high. Come on, let's get high. God forbid. Neighbor, I will never do that. Well, you better start considering doing it now. Because, huh, you, see, you see me? I can never do this with you naturally. Not possible. But you do it natural with those outside, right? You give it to them naturally, and then you come back home, you deny me of that. And who are those people? Don't worry. Don't worry. When I reveal those outside, I will do it in such a way you will never forget it. Yes. about something very important actually like thinking that mm -hmm. you know your home the woman's home shouldn't be you know a matrimonial destination for us oh rather mm -hmm. it should be my place the man's place that, that's that's what makes sense come on baby come on this is the 21st century okay nobody talks about that now and besides i'm so used to this apartment so <laughs> just chill here 21st century mm -hmm. mm. yeah so who now bears the breadwinning? It's you, of course. The husband is always the breadwinner of the house. Oh really? Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Oh really? You see, you you women just change the rules to suit you. Oh. Do, oh, oh. Of course. I mean, what stops the woman from being the breadwinner? <laughs> Didn't the twenty first century also cover that? <laughs> no, <laughs> but it's true. Ah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Didn't it? Anyway, it's all right. It's fine by me. Mm -hmm. It's cool for me to be the breadwinner. Yeah. Like I've always been. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that gives me the sense of pride. The man. That's true. Mm. Yeah. That is why I really want to consolidate on my business to ensure that <coughs> I consider it first before mm -hmm. before fixing any wedding dates. I what well, I don't understand. Fixing our wedding dates. Are you trying to postpone it indefinitely? I am not trying to postpone our wedding date. But all I'm saying is, it's important I finish the clinic project first. But I told you I'm going to do something about it. Yes, you told me you're going to do something about it. But what have you done about it? I'm not even sure about what you promised you're going to do. Yeah? <sighs> if really you are really, really serious and about you giving me that money, you would have sorted me out. You know, with the I, I asked you nineteen point nine hundred million, approximately twenty million. What is so difficult in you just saying, okay, take, take, push your business? Hmm? You know, Femi, you're making twenty million naira sound as if it's just twenty thousand naira. I'm gonna be taking this as a loan from the bank, you know, and it's not done overnight. Then do it over morning. Just do it. I'm sorry, I will do something about it, okay? What are you going to do? Just say it. That that sounds a bit indefinite to my liking. Tell me precisely. What do you want to do and when do you want to do it and how do you want to do it? What month? Just give me a date. I mean, okay, cool. Just give me by till the end of this month. Till the end of the month? Yeah, is that okay with you? All right. End of the month, oh. Yeah. No stories. No stories about Moses crossing the Red Sea and something happened. In... I'll do something by the end of this month. You're sure okay. about that? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. That's yeah. fine, then. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, come here. Well, I remember. <laughs> Do, Do you, you wonder, wonder why we were real? The secret life that you live. Miss 
Come on. Come here. You passed without greeting. You didn't even respond to my greetings. I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Sorry for yourself. Anyway, I've been meaning to ask you, why have you been refusing to take care of things in the house, like doing some cleanings? Oh, I didn't realize it was my job as a man of the house to take care of the chores around here. Man of where? Listen, you are not even man enough. I am equally a man of this house. Wait. Were you expecting me to do the house chores for you? I don't get you, Kemi. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait a you, you mean you expect me to make the beds, wash dishes, sweep the floor, take care of the compound? And wash the toilets, pump water. Yes, that is what I mean. Who do you expect to do all that for you? I'll think about it. In the meantime, I'll make plans to get a house girl. A house girl? Eh. Okay, yeah, that would be a nice idea. Very nice. See. You think I'm a fool? You're looking for who to impregnate, Abby? Fine. We'll get Musa to do the chores around. If you call Musa, who would be guarding us at the gate? We can call him Basi. Basi is the driver. But someone has to do the chores around here. And that someone should be you, since you are the one that sent away Daniel, the former houseboy. Oh, I see where this is headed. Okay. Oh, fine. If you want to get a houseboy of your choice, it's fine by me. Just go ahead and make the call, sweetie. And where do you think you're going to? Vash, I am still talking to you. Yes. I promise never to be sleeping with your mothers. I don't understand. What do you mean by sleeping with my maggots? And, and what is actually wrong with me sleeping with them? Huh? Don't you know sleeping with them is actually the, the secret of the business? See, I will not allow your fears to ruin my business. It will not happen. Yeah? So don't even think about it. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, I, um, I am pregnant. You're preg what? You're, you're pregnant again? What do you mean by the word again? I always warn you to use protection, but you will not listen to me. You like making love without condom, and that's why I even wonder what you do with other women out there. Come on, Esther. Why do you always get pregnant like a rabbit? Damn you for telling me that! Damn me? Yes! And don't you ever imagine because I will not. In fact, you must. And I insist that you will. Do you hear me? I won't let you kill me. I won't let you kill me. This is the eighth time I will be aborting babies for you. The doctor warned us the last time, remember? Okay. I cannot risk this. I won't risk it. Do, do you know the implications of bringing babies into this world? It takes to father a child, and you know it. Coconut head, I am not talking about money. I'm not saying it's money. I'm talking about the energy, the, the whole concentration, the the whole caring of a of a neonate, of a of a little human being. That's what I'm talking about. An infant. It's so difficult. Instead of channeling that into your business, you you just come otherwise. It's not cool. How many more women 
do you want to do before you can be sensible and reason like a man? Do you want to do every woman in Lagos? Huh? I'm not sensible, yeah? I'm not sensible, but I still give you money to buy your undies, your pants, and your bras, yeah? And I'm sensible at the same time I give you money to change into gold, yeah? I'm still insensible. That is so good. Shh. Bash! How dare you walk out on me when I haven't finished talking? But I said I want to go ease myself and come back. I said I want to go ease myself and come back. And what was that talk about bringing a houseboy as if you were accusing me of planning to sleep with a houseboy? Are you planning on sleeping with a houseboy? You must be a moron for saying that. Do you think women like me are as stupid as men who sleep with their house health? But I haven't accused you of anything, have I? You dare not. Listen, even if I want to sleep with any man, it has to be someone finer, cuter, and even classier than you. You dare not. What? I need not tell you. I'll leave that to myself alone. Listen. Don't throw me any challenge. You have been the one committing adultery in this house. Sleeping with all sorts of dogs. And even fathering two bastard children along the way. What haven't you done? See, I'm, Kemi, I'm, just, just take it easy. Eh? There's no need to get irrational and it's just, um, just calm. You know, just shut up. Shut up, okay? Listen, any day, any day you will throw me any challenge in this house, that day you will get the biggest shock of your life. The worst public disgrace ever. you're done crying, you bring yourself to the bedroom. I want to make love. What is it now? Look, look, I want us to undo this word. I don't want any more. I want us to break it. I, I'm tired, please. So you can be free from me, all right? Yes. Because I want to live a normal life like every other woman. I want to live a normal life. All right. So this is all about sex, right? <laughs> Look at you. You have everything you want. You can travel anywhere you want to go to, except, of course, the feeling of a man inside of you. That's the problem, right? Why are you sounding like that is not important? What is wrong with that? 
Why do you have to sound like it is not important in a relationship like this? See, my darling, it's really not a big deal. Really. Take a look at it critically. It's not a big deal. No, it is a big deal to me. And the people out there, it is a big deal. Can I ask you something, Cosmos? Did God make a mistake by greeting sex to be a source to conceive and make children? Did he? Well, I am not God, so... And you're talking sex. I've been meaning to ask you, who were you insinuating that I was out there sleeping with? Were you thinking that this woman out there that I go to sleep with, or that I sleep with some guy out there? So this is what you've been doing. This is what you've been doing, Chris. Say you're a man or you're a woman? Why would you even mention a man? I'm the man, I'm the king of the jungle. Why did you mention a man? I wanted to, you know, reach hey. your mind and find out exactly what you're thinking about me. Whether you think I have a woman out there or that I will descend so low to sleep with a man. Oh. Cosmos, you're a gay. Cosmos, you're a homosexual. I am not gay. Cosmos, that is what you are. Hey, Cosmos. It's so, okay. wait, wait, wait. Okay. Cosmos, Cosmos. You've been sleeping with him. Because he was a cook and wash for you. Please stop this nonsense. Stop it! No, 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 no. no don't, don't even talk to me. Because I cannot stay with a gay. So he married me and you don't want me in your life. Why did you marry me then? Why? Daddy. Nice baby. How are you? Good, 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 good. What's going on? Nothing. Uh, oh, don't worry. Later. Come, 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 come. You want to tell me something? Go ahead. I've changed my mind. Stop. You, you do that a lot. Why? Sit down. Sit down right there. You wanted to tell me something. I changed my mind. Why though? What were you trying to tell me? Nothing. Should I guess? Okay, guess. You wanted to tell me about all the gossip that you have been gossiping with your mom about me. Oh, now I know you want to know what I've been telling my mom or my mom has been telling me about you. But I won't tell you. Maybe I need to let you know that she's been telling me a whole lot about you too. And if you're not going to tell me, you're not going to hear anything from me. Okay, I know what she's been telling you about me. <laughs> I know she's been telling you that I like playing with boys. Really? That's not what you think. What do I think? You think I am no longer a virgin? What? Are you still a virgin? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think you're lying to me. Why? Why do you think I'm lying to you? You're lying to me. Why? Or do you want to go and check? Check? Mm. Are you kidding me? Check? Well, slow down, <laughs> slow down, <laughs> slow down. The secret lies that we live. Do you wonder what we will live? The secret lies that you live. Do you wonder what? Okay. Um, <laughs> Don't come close to me. Don't come close to me. Get out! Just go! This is not a problem. You're going to get over this. 
Okay, I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, you know what? I'm going to increase your monthly allowance to three million. To help with that. To help. To help with that, because we're going away, go away. Okay, if that's go. okay, it's, it's not enough, right? Just go. It's not enough. Just go away, okay, go. It's not enough. Okay, as a matter of fact, in order to assuage all of these feelings, let me give you a check for five million. So you go out there and buy something else. Okay? Just go. Just go! Get out! Go! I don't want to see you. Just go. Go away. Get out! <laughs> Jealousy. I don't see you to be promiscuous. And I'm sure you won't bring a woman into the house I rented and furnished for you. Would you? You can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Never can tell. <laughs> Come to think of it, I don't think you really stay here. I think your main address is where your wife lives. I don't understand. I don't think I live here. My wife? Why would you say that? Is it your wife or fiancé? You told me you were married and now you can't remember whether you're married or not. <laughs> I have a feeling you lied to me about being married. Why would you say I'm lying to you? Hmm? <laughs> I think you're trying to break away from me and you need to come up with a story. So you came up with that story of being married. <laughs> See, Rosemary, the truth is, yes, I'm married, like I told you on Sunday, but I don't live with her. We don't stay together. She's, she's in the village. How come you didn't tell me you were married when I was buying your car? And um, when I was pushing all the money into your account, buying you jewelries, Clothes, perfumes, and all the shoes. You see, uh, most women actually quiver over the fact that uh, great men like us, good looking, spiffy, and smart, brilliant, and all that. You know, you actually, we think if we tell them, they probably would withdraw back their widow's mind towards us. So it's an advantage that uh, if we don't say it, but who cares? I don't care if I'm married or not. 
That's I okay. don't care. It's okay. Now I want you to take me upstairs mm -hmm. and do to me that thing that only you know how to do best. Oh yes. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to take you upstairs? Yes. And run you down, yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna so service you. What am I supposed to do now? What am I supposed to do right now? And if I should speak to anyone about this matter, wouldn't this old kill me? Vicky, you know what? I'll just be there in the neighborhood. Always look at me and stop talking when you see me around there. Oh, and this one you brought me to be back to come and sit. No problem. Madam, it's because I just, I want our information to be private between both of us. Okay. See, madam, I need your help. Seriously, I need you to help me. What thing happened? Madam, my marriage is breaking. I need a very vital information from you. So that eventually my marriage breaks, I can prove to the whole world that it's not my fault. Please. Uh-uh. Wait and happen. Oftentimes when I come here to buy things, I usually see you and your friends talking. And one day, I overheard your friend Felicia say something like, she always see my husband someplace, somewhere. And when I came closer, she shut up. Please, madam, I need you to tell me everything you know. Oh, okay. Um, that matter doesn't mean anything. You don't need that kind of information, okay? I do. Believe me, I need it. My dear, what you actually need is a kind of prayers that will help put things right for you, okay? I need every information you know about my husband. Everything you know. me again until you turn from your sins. Oh, can we just chill and have fun? The night is still very young. I mean, by the way, what crime have I committed? My cell phone fell into the toilet and that is why you haven't been able to reach me all this while. And that's a fact. God knows I'm telling you the truth. I mean... Lies! For good to months, you not even call me or pick my calls. You think I don't know? She just wanted to use me and taunt me after I got to what you wanted. The plan is to play games and then learn me to take in her serious again. So she seriously wants a relationship, right? She doesn't know that she's sitting on a very long something. 
you know. See, if, if I pretend that I'm interested in a serious relationship now, I swear she would, she would just surrender her life to me again like she did before. I dumped her because she was becoming a little too cringe. I don't want no man to cringe on me. You know, this thing is just one long cycle. You know, these girls are all the same thing. The moment they see guys like us, they just want to stay put because they've seen their milk together. I want this girl. I want this girl. This one I'm staring at right my heart. But why do you seek my heart? Uh, because I want to make it my abode forever. So why does His Royal Majesty want to stay in my heart forever? Well, I was told that any time a man seeks something very precious, you know, he, you know, he must go through the route of... Why did you take your call? Is it, is it not important? My colleague, she's waiting outside. But I must respect his royal majesty and see what he has. Uh, that means you are somehow in a hurry? Mm, something like that. But since you're royalty, I can stay a while. Okay, so you can wait. In that case, then I suggest uh, we stay here a little bit so that I can give you some serious things I want to spoil your life. <laughs> um, Listen, when a girl falls for me, I sense it. I just know it. A girl can play along with you without even having feelings for you. Look, I have met over 836 girls in my lifetime. 836? When... Of course, 836. Oh or even more. But anyway, that's by the way. So what I'm trying to say is that if a girl is playing me, it doesn't matter how hard she plays, mm. I have my way of knowing. But you see this girl that I found tonight? I can tell you the truth. Her word is already revolving around me. Really? That I know for sure. 
He might be right there, you know. Of course, this is a classical case of love at first sight. I mean... Yeah, for both of you. Yeah, for both of us. Trust me. <laughs> <laughs> like me! Hmm. No, but are you sure she's not gone? There you go. She's gone. How can you be talking like you don't know the meaning of, of chemistry? Of course. Hey, I understand. She and I already have both biological and emotional chemistry. Of course. I, I, but are you sure she's not going to look for the missing part of the chemistry? <laughs> I don't know. Right look, then why is she taking so long to come back to the bar? You're just trying to, you know, your chemistry, the chemistry. Forget, I, I know what, I know who I met, you know, but I will. Easy, my guy. I'll try and. You got to complete the chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> Um, excuse me, ma'am. What would you care for? Oh, okay. What about you, sir? Um, don't worry, my friend. I'm going to I'm going to do it. Hey, ma'am. So, let's put this on the plan for tonight. You know, we have our only two plans. So can we take it out? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, of course. My guy, yeah, yeah. That is how we help. Well, we're, we're really great. Uh, she's taking the time. She's gonna be. She's still searching for it. No, 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 no. I, I got the girl. I think yeah, we're sure. not negotiating this yeah. stuff. You know, this is me. Dude, you know, this is me. You know, this is me. Yeah. Yeah. I asked my guy. No, no, I have it. It's all right. Hey, 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 how come I'm being bullied and tossed about by my own wife, Kemi? I do the bullying, Kemi. Look at the way she's tossing me about like a puppet. I mean, come on. What do I do to reverse this situation? This thing she's using to hold me to ransom. What can I use in that incident to my advantage? How did that situation really happen? Does it matter? Eh? <laughs> 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 and, uh, uh, but you sounded really uh, urgent on the phone. What, what, what's, what's going oh, yeah, on? Yeah, it is. Um, can we? Um, can we talk in private? In private? Why now? My babe no be new person to you now. Yeah, be think say you think she doesn't know those. Um, Wonderful things, the efforts we are making to support our careers. Mm. Um, look, <laughs> sweetie, I will excuse you guys, okay? It's fine. Hmm? Okay. All right, team. Um, something came up. Hmm? I just um, got wind of information that some Indians are looking to come and invest in the media sector. 
in Nigeria. Which is my field. Mm. Uh -huh. Spoken okay, and I was able to schedule a meeting, you know, where we would um, present you as the owner of one of the biggest media conglomerates in Nigeria. Excellent. You know, so that way, it further boosts their confidence to want to invest, because that way they see that they are speaking to a, uh, a major player in the game. You see, uh, Odyssey, uh, that, that's, that's a very small thing. It's something we can handle like this. Now, the question is, how much are we expecting these guys to drop? These guys are looking to invest as much as $10 million. Jesus Christ. So you understand why it needs to really be good? Hey. Bash, this is Hamao. This is Hammer with Nafdak number. So, OK has arranged the hotel where the meeting will take place. I know I think your protocol and all of that would have the police escort and everything just to make it look official, you know, and genuine. Change of story. Now, let's congratulate ourselves. Sure. My <laughs> guy. <laughs> hey! So, to us, to success. To success. Hey! Of course. Good thing they have fun. Baby! But I know we'll stop until you scream my name. My name. Hey! Me, I will take you to the bastard. But I know we'll stop until you scream my name. My name. Hey! Me, I will take you to the bastard. I said the love is good. Love is bad. Back here, This is um, Ella, she's a banker, and this is Bashiru, personal banker to Chief Eze. Um, he is an international businessman, a well known in this country, a uh, oh, man of dignity. Hi, Chief. <laughs> you are my name? Oh, my name is uh, Chief Eze. <laughs> Anil is my name. Very, 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 very happy Santa to have you Ella, people you? Uh, you. in our country. <laughs> so, uh, yes. pleasure meeting you. Same here. Pleasure to meet you too. Yeah. I'm so happy we're all here. So let's get to business. You know, so based on the statistics and the study and everything we we saw, you know, um, figures have been put together. And you know, I'm his personal um, a banker. You know, his financial advisor. I've made him understand that this is something that is worth pushing. You know, so that's why you guys were you know contacted. You know, knowing that you know this is something viable in the international market, and we've got the infrastructure, everything you need here. Exactly. You know, based on see. The chat we showed you then, you see, like you see from here, you would understand. Look at look at the summary. Look at the breakdown we have. This is research that has brought everything. So is all proven. the infrastructure is on. Ground. Everything. So this is something that is. If you look at it. Verified, okay. yeah. confirmed. Totally. You don't have anything to worry yeah. about.
what is the guarantee that if I go back in there, you won't pester me for sex again? I won't, I promise. Why would you even try that in the first place? I'm your friend's fiance for everyone's sake. How do you expect him to feel when he finds out about this? I won't tell him, will you? Why won't I tell him? Because... Because what? Because I know you like me. What makes you think I like you? I see it in your eyes. I see the way you look at me and the way you even expose um, parts of your body for me to see, even in his presence. <laughs> Are you dreaming? No, I'm not. See, matter of fact, I feel the main reason why you're spending the night here is because you want to be with me. <laughs> Bash, please. Just... Stop. I came here to spend the night at your place because it's closer to the airport so I can get my early morning flight on time. Well, I'll call you what you will, make any excuse. I know there's a divine reason why we're alone together. Final conclusion on who sweeps and cleans the house. We agreed to get a house boy. And while we wait for him to arrive, you have to be helping out. Helping out? What does that mean? It means you'll be doing the washings and cleanings and sweepings in the house. And if you fail to comply, that will be the beginning of the end of you. You're mad. It's official. You're mad. What? Am I dreaming? No, you're not. See, you're taking advantage of me because you feel I'm afraid of you spilling information about me to the public. Hey, you've got something else coming for you, sure. This threat has to stop. Tell it on the mountain, girl. See, besides, who would even remember the case? There's no complainant. So. Okay. Fine. Now, if you escape that, will you escape what will happen if I tell your friend Easy that you have been sleeping with his wife? My guest. You dare me? Watch me. Can we wait? No, no, I can't wait. I wanna get high. Oh boy, I wanna get high now. See, I wanna get high. Come on, let's get high. I wanna get high. Oh boy, I wanna get high now. 
serious about this yes I will tell him and get this over and done with him. to what end how, 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 how does it benefit you because I want you to suffer I want you to suffer for cheating on me with Izzy's wife and for fathering two children behind my back but I have apologized about this endlessly can you say I am sorry about it you are sorry. You even had the guts to tell me to go ahead and do my worst. But I, I didn't mean that. Just get out. Get out. Yes, as I speak with you, I'm already home. Yes, I'm home. I'm home to my beautiful wife. But the good news is that the containers arrived today. Fourteen of them. So why don't you just come to the office tomorrow and let's sort it all out? All right, that will be quick. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh, there you are. <laughs> I found your real wife today. What are you talking about? Can't we even be happy for once? Can't we just be happy in this house? Beautiful. His name is Bob. Very retarded. So? I also understand he stays in number 16, Shodimon Street, Tenebo Gardens. Perhaps you rented an apartment for him there. Great, beautiful place. Well, it's very obvious you've been nosing around. Let's just say um, I was trying to know a bit more about my husband and what he's up to. So let me ask you, who has been feeding you with all of this crap? Let's just say someone down the road. A good neighbor. Who is this neighbor down the road? Does it even matter? It doesn't really matter, you know. I think you should be thankful to God that no one knows the deep, unforgivable secrets you have. You do in the bedroom. Okay. Now they don't know my so-called unforgivable dirty secrets in the bedroom. So why don't you, who knows the secrets, go out there and spread it. Tell them about my dirty secrets. Okay? We'll see what consequences will come your way. Nonsense. Look at this. Gosh! And you will have to tell me why would you have to dabble into what you're not supposed to dabble into. That's my life. Nonsense.
She's within my view. Even though she goes to the cave, I will go with her. Yes. Did you say directed you to me? Um, I, I met a woman at the market and I shared my problems with her. She directed me to see you. I am not the one to attend to you. My spiritual leader is at Ingo Mountains. That is our headquarters. I was told. So, whenever you are ready, I will take you to see him. I'm ready. I'm ready now. Unless it's not okay by you, then I can go home and come back. I think Wednesday is a better day for you to go there. Okay. Okay, no problem. Um, uh, are these usual requirements or materials I might need to come with? When you meet with the spiritual leader, it will prescribe to you according to your problems. Oh, okay, ma. Thank you. When is it then? I just want to show my sincere appreciation for your time and attention. Thank you. Okay, you worship us of me. This is the root of all evil. You shouldn't put money ahead of everything. It causes all sorts of problems. Um, okay, ma. I don't need it. Go. Come on Wednesday. Thank you. I don't want any. Thank you. Oh. <clears throat> so, uh, make yourself comfortable. Sit down. No, I only came because you said it was very urgent and very serious. So, why did you call me? Well, I just... Why are you sounding like you, you're trying to break up with me? Do you, do you think I'm cheating on you? Listen, look, don't even try to sweet talk me into having any more affairs with you. Femi, I am done. It's over. I'm done. Look, I have to go. My husband's probably getting suspicious. Wait, wait. And, you know, husband? I'm... Yes. He's the main reason why we must not see each other anymore. Well, lie if he gets his hands on you. Ha. What happens? Come, 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 come. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> Don't rush. What if he gets his hands on you rather than me? Hmm? When he finds out that his humble, northern woman is committing adultery. Guess what he does? He does. I always go. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. 
I didn't mean to break up with you. It's just that this whole situation with this adultery thing, please, it's affecting my family. Please. Mommy, please, 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 baby. Please, baby, please. Please, please, please remember my How you doing now? Oh, not bad. But you sounded um, troubled and sad on the phone, especially when you're home. Yeah. What's happening? My dear, things are just not, honestly. My wife has become the worst thing that has, that has happened to my life. <laughs> That's not news. You've always said that about her. Uh, no, not like now. It's crazy right now. It's honestly. She has taken over the position of the man of the house and has practically enslaved me. <laughs> Your wife enslaved you? Yes. <laughs> she has turned me to the houseboy of the house and bullies me at will. <laughs> Your wife bullies you. <laughs> the last time I checked, your wife was under your control. <laughs> so, <laughs> come. She has turned me to the houseboy and bullies me at will. It's crazy. It's crazy. Come on. Well, things, the plans have changed. Honestly, I mean, things have changed. I know she's doing this with the recent information, you know, she got. She's using it to hold me to ransom. What? What information is that? She now knows that the children are not Aziz, but mine. How did she get to know that? She still remains a mystery to me. Well, secrets are not meant to be forever. Come on, I'm not this type of secret now. Come on. I guess it's time Aze gets to know the truth. Mary, listen to yourself. No, no. How is this supposed to play out? That I should call it, hey, Aze, hi. I wanted to just let you know, you know. Um, actually, although I am, Aze, you know what? Those kids that you've always thought are yours, they're not, they're not actually yours, you know. They're mine. I mean, your best friend. You know how now? All right. Come Fine. On. No, because they, they, don't you? You should. You should consider the consequences. This guy can get erratic. I don't. Come. Do you want to die? <laughs> Is it not better for him to know earlier now, rather than him hearing from other persons? Yes, you're right. But I'll. Yeah, fine. I. I but not for now, not for now. Okay, maybe you do enjoy your bullying wife at home and then being the slave in the house and not being the man, being the wife. Fine, I get your point. I find, yes. Oh, hi Esther, how are you? You good? Mm. Wow, wow, wow. wow. You've done it. You removed it. Oh, that is so wonderful. <laughs> oh, thank God. Yes. So, sorry, I can't hear you. Your voice was kind of faint. Uh? Hmm? What? You're on your way home. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm at home. I'm waiting for you. Hello? I can't really hear you. Your voice is faint. Hello, hello, Esther. I'm the man of Esther. The of the jungle, so I do anything <laughs> that I want to. Oh my gosh, you removed Don't it. Care who I pass no, right no, no, no. Target, target for. Wow, this is really nice. Um, she's faded. Wow, she's faded the ten million men. Wow, that is so good. <laughs>
go to a quack doctor. Why didn't you take her to a proper doctor? I, I didn't know. I'm not really aware of this. You, you know how women are. They're fast on, on, on such issues. I mean, um, doctor, why is she on oxygen in the first place? Um, it's to help her stabilize. Her womb is damaged. What? Damaged? She will learn to live the rest of her life without having babies. No, 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 no. No, doctor, no, 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 no. You can't, you can't say that. No, please. Did, did, you, did you even check her well? Look, Mr. Femi. Yes, Femi, Femi. Listen, Mr. Femi. Yes, Femi. I have seen cases like this before. So when I see a womb or a reproductive system that is damaged beyond repairs, I know. Yeah, so your experience should, should let you also know that you, you can do something. Can't you fix something, a tube or something? Make her have babies. Um, please, just make her do something, doctor, please. Adoption. That's all. She can have her own children by adopting babies. No. No, no, please, don't go there. She, she will kill me if she finds out. I mean, we should not even go there. Please. Okay. How many of your nurses are aware of this? None of them, except me. Fine, fine. Please, please, please. Just keep it between the two of us. Huh? I, 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 I don't want her to know anything concerning this. I beg of you. Doctor's secret. Please. You people should thank God she's alive. 